uh, Hispanic, uh, our Hispanic festival to, to uh, celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month here in Anderson. Have you done this before? No, this is our first one. And how fast is the Hispanic population growing around here? Uh, we're going, I don't know exactly how quickly, I don't have the numbers, but uh, we are growing uh, quickly in this population, I'm sorry. <laughs> And why is it important to have events like this? To celebrate the, the many cultures here in Anderson and, and um, just kind of make everyone feel welcome. And one thing that I love about Anderson is that we are a welcoming city, but if we have these festivals, it just makes everyone aware that we're here to celebrate and that we're proud to have you here. And you got beautiful weather and a good crowd? Yes, wonderful weather. I want to thank all our sponsors for, for believing in this event and being here for our community. If people want to find out more about this group, what can they find out more information? We could go to our Facebook page. It's Anderson County Latinx Advisory Council. There you'll be able to find a phone number and an email to reach me. manager at the Anderson Free Clinic. Tell me why y'all are out here at this festival today. So we are here to help our community and bring information about the clinic, pharmacy services, clinical service. We do offer um, vision, dental at the clinic as well. So we just want to be involved out with our Hispanic community and let them know we're here to help them with their medical okay. needs. Overall, beautiful. Have you seen a, a, a real growth in the Hispanic community and the people coming to you guys for needs lately? Absolutely, absolutely. Every month we have a pretty good growth of not only Hispanic but overall patients from our community at the clinic. And do y'all have somebody that speaks Spanish there? Or? Yes, we have three staff members, including myself, that speak Spanish at the clinic. And so y'all are here today to just let people know what services you offer? And that is correct. And we have um, from application information that they may need, anything that we can help to bring them into the clinic. So if somebody's been hibernating for 10 years, tell everybody what the Anderson Free Clinic is and what y'all do. So the Anderson Free Clinic has been open for 38 years. Um, we do help and assist with our community patients who are 100% uninsured. We do offer medical, pharmacy, dental, and vision services. Perfect. Uh, we're just very excited to celebrate uh, Hispanic Heritage Month here in Anderson, South Carolina. And of course, a part of um, our concern is to make sure that we're all as healthy as we can possibly be. So it means a lot to connect with every community, especially communities that may not experience health as, as, uh, as perhaps as positively as others. And so we have done this for six years. This is year seven. Uh, we're certainly a, pleased to be a part of the overall community the experience. So you've been a part of the community for a long time. Have you seen a huge increase in the Hispanic population? Yes, the Hispanic population here in Anderson County is somewhere between uh, five and six percent. Uh, we certainly have seen those numbers increase uh, both at in terms of the general overall community but in particular uh, the patients and families that we see at AnMed Health. And tell me all the things y'all have out here today. 
oh my gosh, we've got uh, foot exams, we have uh, flu shots, uh, we have uh, diabetes uh, consultations and, and tests for A1C. Uh, we certainly have height and weight. And then of course we have smoking cessations to make sure that individuals have access to uh, health information that they need. We also have uh, resources so that if we find some individuals who may have some numbers that are, 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 are inappropriate or unhealthy, we've got some opportunities to connect them here with Ann Med Health and uh, a primary care physician within our system. Yeah, so with our COVID relief program, we've seen an influx of uh, Spanish-speaking people come in and from that community. So we've started to do specific orientations that are in Spanish. We have a great AmeriCorps who speaks Spanish and she's translated the orientation for all of our clients. Um, so October 26, we're gonna be doing a all Spanish orientation at our training center at 1.30 p.m. And have y'all seen a growth in the number of folks in the Hispanic community in your services? We have, definitely, yeah. We've seen just Everybody right now needs help. So, but yes, we have seen an influx of Hispanic people coming in. How much has it helped having somebody who's bilingual and speaks Spanish and working with population? Oh, it's incredible. Having an AmeriCorps that speaks Spanish, we can actually communicate with people now, which is really nice. Um, and she's been able to make flyers for us that are in Spanish, to do the orientation videos in Spanish. So it's, it's super helpful. Tell me who you are. Um, I'm Sheila Gower. I'm serving with AmeriCorps at AIM. And she's telling me you're bilingual, you speak Spanish? Yes, um, Spanish and Hungarian as well. Uh, you run into any Hungarians at her aim so far? No, not so far. <laughs> tell me how helpful it has been. She was saying it's very helpful. You tell me from your perspective how helpful it's been to have you at AIM to be able to uh, to speak to the folks who are coming in looking for services. Right. Well, it's been great. Um, we have someone else who speaks Spanish now, but for a while it was just me. So I ran into a woman in the parking lot one day and I ended up talking her through the application process. Um, I've also done some case management for Spanish speakers, um, just translating everything for them and um, getting them help with their rent and utilities if they qualify. And I've noticed you've really had a lot of good interactions with folks here. Tell me how it's gone today and how the people are responding to you guys being out here. Well, it's been good so far. I just got here, so I haven't been able to talk to many people, but I just used my Spanish for the first time today, just a minute ago. <laughs> and uh, I'll see. Tell, tell me about AmeriCorps and AIM, because a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah, so AmeriCorps is a, a great program. It's kind of like the Peace Corps, but just for the states. Um, and it sends out volunteers to nonprofits. Um, we get a stipend and we serve at that location, um, providing whatever direct or indirect service. <laughs>